Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective, where I view, test out, and demonstrate various VSTs. For today, we are looking at the Dark Sequoid 2. I already reviewed the original Dark Sequoid, obviously this is like the second, you know, version of it. And I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. I actually really like a lot of these settings here. We have the Harpsichord Sub Texture, LFO Rate and Depth, Attack Release, a Reverb, and Cutoff. And then basically different LFO Waveforms, the Destination, the Source, and then the Filter Type. So I'm just going to play it. So as you can see, it's basically like a dark harpsichord, hence the name. Good for like horror sounds, scary tracks, you know, any type of like dark element that you want. Now what I like about this one a lot is I can customize a lot of features. So the, starting with the basics, we have the harpsichord sub and texture. So if I basically, I'm just gonna use that. Actually, I'm gonna use that chord right there. So if I turn the sub and texture down, you have a normal harpsichord, which I really like. I like the fact that you can turn these off completely. So that way, if you're like, hey, I just want to have maybe like a normal harpsichord to start off the track and then have it slowly get dark or slowly get creepy or weird, that's pretty cool. I can do this. Right. Pretty cool. I like that. Now, if I, if I turn these all down, you don't hear anything, which actually is a really good sign. That's a big pro tip for a lot of plugins. We have a bunch of different layers. If you turn them all down and you can't hear anything, that's always a good sign, actually. Then I have the sub, which I actually like, even just the sub alone. Kind of sounds like almost like a, not like a full 808, but almost sounds like a heavily distorted 808, maybe in like the mid-range. Right, and then we have the texture. which could be cool as an instrument on its own. And then also combine them all again. I'll just put them all kind of at like 12 o'clock. And then we have obviously the, all these kind of like modulation settings. I like how the reverb is not automatically on. But I can add it on like so, the cutoff. Attack and release, a pretty self-explanatory. And then obviously the LFO rate and LFO depth. If I want to do some... Uh, Weird stuff. Let's do. Yeah, do that. Right, kind of has almost like a, a slight like um, organ feel with that, and then expression, and then pan. Now, so we can adjust the waveform however you want. Try like a square so it's like super or whatever. And then um obviously we have, you can adjust the source and the filter type. So I'll just all right, however you want to do it. 